guys. Thanks, Renee. And we've been saying it all morning long. It is freezing outside. Fox Connecticut's Audrey Kuchin has more on how you can be prepared. Audrey, do you think you prepared enough this morning with um, your coat and gloves and everything? No. <laughs> Great point there, Sarah. I forgot my gloves downstairs. Oh, I, I have a pair. I, I will give you some. Thing. Thank you. <laughs> I could use a couple pairs of gloves at this point. Yeah, depending on where you are in the state of Connecticut, you are getting varying degrees of these freezing temperatures. Speaking of degrees right here, our thermometer up here. Uh, downtown Hartford sitting at zero right now and earlier today Fox Connecticut photographers captured these shots that are just chilly enough to make your teeth chatter. Take a look. Uh, two degrees in Hartford according, according to this uh, bank sign. It's the kind of photography that just sends chills for your bones. Besides the low temperature, wind chills are the thing here. Take whatever temperature you're reading and add that brisk factor. These CL and P employees trying to restore power at the Hartford Public Library. They've got the right idea, though. Dressed in the layers with as little skin exposed as possible. And uh, we spoke to some out-of-towners, actually, from Phoenix, Arizona. So we're right now in Arizona. The temperatures are a balmy 70 degrees during the day. So uh, we were curious how they were feeling about our cold weather here in the Northeast. I think it's ridiculously cold. Um, my fingers are frostbitten. Um, I just hate it. I don't even know why I'm outside right now. It's cold, but it's very dry and uh, it's, it's crisp. It is ridiculously cold. I think that gal hit the nail on the head with that. So some advice for the uh, out-of-towners and the locals. When the weather becomes too cold, it can be life-threatening. So number one, just stay inside if you can. That's especially important for children and for the elderly. And if you do have to go outside, of course, dress in several layers of loose-fitting or lightweight clothing instead of one layer of heavy clothes. You'll also need the full deal, okay? Hat, mittens, scarf, waterproof boots, so no skin at all is exposed. And if you are driving of course be sure to make someone uh, make sure that somebody knows that you're going out and bring a blanket with you in case uh, your car does break down and of course always have the cell phone on hand now the risk factor of frostbite today is high and it is potentially dangerous to expose your skin for more than five minutes so if you see someone who needs help, uh, you guys mentioned this off the top of the show, it's so simple. Just dial 211 and that'll get you connected with Health and Human Services who can really steer you in the right direction. And you're taking a live look at the steam coming off the top of the Fox Connecticut building this morning. I am going to take you up on that spare pair of gloves, Sarah, uh, but now I'll toss it back to you. All right, come on inside and get those gloves for sure, Audrey. Thanks. And we're not alone. The bone-chilling temperatures are gripping much of the nation. Fox Connecticut's Marianne Rafferty has more.